My name is Charles, and I'm a PhD student in the Department of Biology and the Red Path Museum at McGill University. I am the founder of the new STEM Diversity at McGill initiative here in the museum. The idea for this project came from a Biology Department Day workshop we had last fall on diversity and inclusivity. I was sort of inspired to do something about this issue, so I rallied together other students in the museum, and we, along with the outreach coordinator, formed a small committee to create a little corner exhibit. The museum receives over 80,000 visitors per year, many school groups and many little girls and children from immigrant families. They come into the museum and they see really cool things like dinosaurs, rocks, and animals, but nothing really reaches out to them to tell them that, hey, if you think this is cool and awesome and you're passionate about it and you can work hard, you can do it too. Since then, the project has exploded and people from across departments and faculties and even outside the university have contributed their time, resources, and expertise to make this a success. We have interviewed students and faculty about their experiences as women or minorities in STEM, about how they got to where they are today, their challenges, how they dealt with them, advice they might have for the next generation. We have made an activity book focused on a younger audience to help them understand the issues and help them feel welcome in STEM. With this exhibit, we also create role models for those who feel like they may not belong within STEM. No matter what you look like, who you are, where you come from, you can make it in STEM too. The Red Path Museum will serve not just as a collection space or science objects, but come alive with current conversations we're having about race and gender within STEM today. These interviews will be important 50, 100 years from now, when future McGillians can look back and see the thoughts we're having about these issues. We welcome you to our launch reception at 6 p.m. on Ada Lovelace Day, October 10th, where you'll be able to watch some of the interviews, and we'll have a live Q&A with some interviewees. If you can't make it that night, feel free to stop by the museum in the near future or check it out on our website on your own computer.